Welcome back to the Sports Max Zone. As mentioned earlier, there is a high power team of cricket officials here in studio with us today. From Cricket West Indies, we have President Dr. Kishore Shalo, CEO of Cricket West Indies, Johnny Grave, and Director of Cricket at Cricket West Indies, Miles Bascom. The delegation from the West Indies Players Association is led by President Wavell Hines and he is accompanied by the Honorary General Secretary of WIPA, Wayne Lewis. However, without further delay, I'll now invite CWI President Dr. Kishore Shalo to present his message to the many stakeholders of West Indies cricket. Thank you, Mariah. Nearly one year ago, I assumed the role of President of Cricket West Indies, and from the outset, I emphasized the significant responsibilities that come with this role. Today, I, I wish to reiterate that there's no underestimation of the substantial workload associated with this office. Nevertheless, I accepted this responsibility with intention to serve the people of our cherished region. I highlighted then, as I highlight now, and as I emphasize now, that our understanding, respect, and appreciation for the enduring value of cricket as a very core of our identity. The West Indies is not merely a geographic term. It is a collective of people intricately connected by the essence of cricket. This game deeply rooted in our hearts continues to shape us as a people. And in my ongoing service, I wish to thank persons who have supported the journey for the last few months, my esteemed Vice President as Bazarat, my board, key stakeholders, of course, including my management, CEO Johnny Grave, Director of Cricket Miles Basketball, and others at the Secretariat in Antigua and throughout the entire system. And of course, our strategic partners. And I'll first start with Sports Max as one, of course. And our governments, heads of governments who continue to support West Indies cricket. And I'm quite heartened to have with us today WIPA, West Indies Players Association President Wavell Hines, and of course, the Honorary Secretary Wayne Lewis. And it is through these collaborative endeavors of these stakeholders that we are positioned to continue making significant strides in proudly hoisting the West Indies flag as we anticipate the upcoming T20 World Cup in June later this year, promising to be a global spectacle in our region in a few months, I'm not only filled with excitement, but immense pride. The future of West Indies cricket is undeniably bright, and this is not blindfold optimism by any means. And today, I present to you some of the reasons why I share that sentiment, which, is, which has been echoed by many across the region. Over the last few months, we have been engaged at Cricket West Indies with negotiations with WIPA, West Indies Players Association, to chart the course for a more inclusive and result-oriented approach in a memorandum of understanding. I can report that we conclude this, these negotiations no different than we started months ago with the best interests of cricket at heart. And so I'm delighted to share with you five of these. And later on, you will hear from President Wavell Hines, who would elaborate on some of these. One, enhanced team price money and individual player rewards, potential for multi-year retainers contract, increased men's match fees, retention policy for overseas domestic tournaments, and of course, some may say the best for last, equality for women's cricketers in our region. These provisions underscore our commitment to creating an environment where players strive and West Indies cricket continues to shine on the global stage. I'm quite happy to say that we are still not, uh, we do not conclude here as Cricket West Indies and WIPA, but we will continue to work effortlessly to update 
the following framework, fitness and conditioning, selection policy, and NSCs. As we embark on this transformative journey for Cricket West Indies, let me thank everyone who has contributed again to the success thus far, and we look forward to creating more success in the coming months. Thank you. All right, thank you so much, Dr. Shallow. So there you heard from the president of Cricket West Indies, Dr. Shallow, ahead of this monumental occasion, which will see Cricket West Indies and the West Indies Players Association signing a memorandum of understanding. I'll now invite Wavell Hines, the president of the West Indies Players Association, to deliver his address. Wavell? Thank you. Um, good evening to the Caribbean, good evening to our audience. Um, it is indeed a pleasure for the West Indies Players Association to be associated with West Indies Cricket again. Firstly, I want to thank all my members, thank the executive members of the Players Association and staff, and of course our partners, Cricket West Indies, in truly putting together a very um, good document, a MOU, that certainly can move West Indies Cricket forward. Um, we are very mindful of the fact that the landscape of cricket has changed, as the calendar year remains at 12 months, the number of T20, T10 competitions that have populated that calendar is just growing on a daily basis. We are also mindful that it is an opportunity for our members, our players, our cricketers to earn a living on a consistent basis outside of the Caribbean. We are also very mindful that the, the budget on the very um, Cricket West Indies budget and the budget of the Caribbean, the economic budget, is not one that could carry the demands of international cricket. So we are very happy that our members, our players are in a position to earn a living outside of the Caribbean. As it is now, we are operating on an MOU that has certainly been extended because of the nature of the negotiations and we look forward to having Cricket West Indies as our partner in making sure that we monitor these, these um, discussions, monitor these documents and make sure that the implementation towards the benefit of our players are there. The welfare of our players are important, the rights and the benefits of our players are important, and certainly we did not come to an agreement without the involvement of our um, esteemed players. We have a player advisory committee led and chaired by um, Barbade, former Barbados captain, or maybe still captain of the Barbados team, Ms. Shakira Selman, who is also a director of the West Indies Players Association. I want to thank her and her team for their contributions. Captain. Haley Matthews made her um, contribution in a very significant way, and so did Captain Ravman Powell. So we had an all-inclusive um, approach where we had members from the AG and the last annual general meeting in Antigua who have nominated their respective um, supporting groups from the player group to join us at the negotiating table. We are looking forward to this. There are different um, increases in the different bands, which most players would like to hear, and we are also very grateful that in what we are doing, we are also about gender equality and gender equity. And as such, we have managed to craft an agreement that will see between 2024 to 2027, where our women cricketers will be on par with the men in terms of their, their payment. So it is indeed a great time for the West Indies Players Association. It is a good time for West Indies cricket. And we also look forward to making sure that from the regional level up, we are doing so. To go with that for our regional women, we are looking to have at least six women contracted as professionals at a regional level, and we look to, to grow those numbers in a very incremental way as we get to the end of the contract or the MOU in 2027. So it is in, indeed great times for West Indies cricket. We are very excited and we are looking forward to partnering with Cricket West Indies and our members to try and improve and move this forward. There are policies involved as it relates to maternity and we are on the negotiations to deal with paternity um, policies to treat with our members as they deal with their personal family lives and how they can move that forward um, concurrently while being professional cricketers. So this is a very inspirational time for me. I'm happy to be a part of it. I've been involved for in excess of 20 years as an administrator for the West Indies Players Association and I'm indeed happy to see where we are today. But when we started out, um, our women cricketers were earning $10 a day at the regional level. If they had a tournament for 15 days, they would get a 10 US dollars per day, which is $150. And at that time, when it happened back in 2020, 2014, I think Stephanie Taylor would have been the number one all around in the world at that time. So 
if you make the comparison between, with, with then and now, we have certainly made some good strides going forward. So it is a, a very progressive agreement and we look to, to continue to grow that from strength to strength. Thank you very much. Yeah, thank you so much, Wavell. So there you have it, our address from Weaver President Wavell Hines, which followed an earlier address by President of Cricket West Indies, Dr. Kishore Shalu. Well, after the break, we'll witness a never-before-seen event on regional television, the official signing of a memorandum of understanding between Cricket West Indies and the West Indies Players Association. Stay with us, back with more right after the break.